Yo, what's up everybody? This is Zero, and today I am going to be reading a poem that I just uh, found. It was like a old one I did like way long, long time ago. I did some time ago. Matter of fact, the poem that I'm about to read uh, it was called Metamorphosis, and this actually was me uh, symbolically putting out the the uh, journey, you know, the journey I had went through, like, as far as from a journey from dealing with the darkness coming into the light. And this, I mean, this is, like, pretty, uh, pretty, it's going to be pretty long. I don't know how long it's going to be, but... I'm pretty sure that me reading it won't take as long as as uh, long as it took me to write this. So I hope y'all enjoy it. You know, after I'm done, you can leave your comments what you think about it, or I guess if you're in the uh, in the premiere, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna premiere this. You know, just tell me then, but. I appreciate any uh, comments, but this is kind of like me just leaving it all there. So it, I just took everything I was feeling, time, and you know, like what I was, my experiences and all that, and put it into this uh, poem. Well, I guess you say it's prose because it doesn't actually rhyme. So without further ado, is the poem Metamorphosis. The process of change within is slow and gradual. The long journey within the depths of the, the depths of my being, taking many routes looking for the perfect highway. As I'm on this quest, I travel to the darkest places of my heart. I have found those places to be very enjoyable, even knowing the dangers such places bring taking in all the pleasures that the darkness has to offer, learning more and more about the endless masquerade, all of its secrets and tricks of the trade, using this knowledge until it consumes me and sends me over the edge, over the cliff where I fall into the eternal pit of despair as I lay there helplessly in the pit. A man appeared before me and offered his hand. This man was shining so brightly, and I wonder how a man could walk in his place and not have his light, not have his life, uh, not have his light snuffed out. The only thing I know is that this man can save me. He was my ticket to a new life, a new beginning. I took out my hand and left this empty place. After I got out, I asked the man, who are you? He replied, you already know the answer. And I did know he is the man of infinite light. Before he left me, before he left, he touched me touched me and lit up a spark inside me and said learn to love so so you may learn to love her. learn to love so that you may learn to love others yeah. so that you may learn learn to love her so that you may learn to love others yeah that's it he disappeared and left me thinking of how I should go about expressing love in the way he mentioned so I walked looking for the places in my heart that were filled with light, learning how to end the darkness, to end the endless masquerade, to improve myself and learn how to love. Every time I left one destination, it seems to take a little bit longer to arrive at the next destination. As I moved on, I used the motion of love. It burned out too quickly because I didn't know how to manage it properly. So I tried to use the mind of love, but I was not ready for its knowledge. I lacked the wisdom necessary. Its knowledge was too great, and at last I tried to use the will of love. Its raw passion was overwhelming. Its energy flew wildly, turning away anyone I met or tried to meet. I wasn't going to give up. I was determined to learn how to control the aspects of love. As I learned how to control these aspects, to learn to love to the fullest, I must learn to calm the passion within. To do that, I must leave myself to find myself. 
but dealing with such a burden is no easy task. It was the start of a great struggle. A war of me, war between me and my emotions. A battle of supremacy. I was fighting a losing war, but I had one more option to try, my gambit, my strategy. So I met my emotions with now resistance. And at that moment, at that, uh, at that moment, my emotions lost all of its strength. I was the source of its power. As I, I felt it, I felt as if I fought an unnecessary war. But I knew fighting this war was important because without fighting, I would have never have known that my emotions are a part of me and not who I am. My limitless self control, my limitless self control, locked up my emotions like a safe, keeping the good ones in and letting the bad ones slowly fade away. Now my emotions are my beck and call. I can open my eyes to the entire world, a world filled with new perspectives, new, pers I mean, new perspectives, a bright future, and a new hope for peace. My mind became filled with negativity. I grew, ar I grew in arrogance of my, of my achievement. So I had to learn how to temper my mind in the lessons of humility. Slowly but surely, I learned the concepts. Concepts. As time went by, I forgot myself and became humble. I felt myself changing. I knew at this point what was going to happen. I was undergoing a process of great change. It was known as, it was known as a great metamorphosis. I, I was broken out of that dark shell to see my beautiful well, I broke out of that dark shell to see my beautiful, brilliantly illuminated body reflecting my soul. I started to realize that everything is connected. And through, through those connections, bonds are formed. Through those bonds, love is formed. Now I understand what the man meant. In order to love, you have to give up the idea of separation. How can you love someone if you, can, if you separate yourself from them? It's like cutting yourself off from everything. Forming bonds is how we live how we survive, they're everything to us. Love is self-realization. Although I may not shine as brilliantly as that man, I will continue to shine for as long as I live. And I will continue to love as long as there, there is breath, as long as there's breath in my body. Until then, as long as I exist, I will continue searching for true enlightenment. And that poem right there, I did. I wrote it uh, when I was 23, when I just came out of darkness into the light. So thank y'all for listening. You know, I kind of stumbled a little bit. That's all right. I also got it done. It is what it is. So let me know what y'all think. Again, you know what you think. And I appreciate y'all holding this balance vibration, people. And I'll see you later. Have a great day.